Hi, in this video we're going to cover the sign up process for Cash Cow Pro and how to link it to your Amazon account. Once you do this, all of your data from Amazon will be automatically updated into Cash Cow Pro within 24 hours and then every hour after that all your sales data, all your metrics will be updated uh, hourly by Cash Cow Pro. So first of all you need to log in to Cash Cow Pro with your new login details sent to your email account and also log in to Seller Central at the same time so that's ready too. So first of all from the dashboard on Cash Cow Pro we're heading over to settings and then MWS settings. Okay so here we're going to be adding a new MWS account and clicking that takes us to the modal to then uh, input all of our details. Name, this uh, this can be any name you choose so you can recognize which uh, Amazon account this is. So I'm just going to put in main Amazon account as the name. Marketplace ID, seller ID and MWS auth token. Okay, so now we need these from Seller Central. Uh, you're already logged into Seller Central. What you need to do is on the instructions is go to this link provided mws at dot amazon dot com so just gonna head over to that address okay so now I wanna click sign up for mws and here we're selecting I want to give a developer access to my Amazon seller account with mws and what we're putting in here is Cash Cow Pro and then the developer account number as per the email you got sent. So Cash Cow Pro, the developer account number, and then we're hitting next. I have read and accepted the Amazon MWS license agreement. I'm sure you're going to read it. Um, I understand that I take complete responsibility for the acts and missions of Cash Cow Pro regarding my Amazon seller account and hereby direct Amazon to allow Cash Cow Pro to access my Amazon seller account. And we're going to set the user permissions in the next section and within that you're limiting what can be seen by this uh, developer account and I'll take you through that. Next. Okay, so here it's showing you the seller ID which you need to copy and paste here to seller ID. We've got the marketplace ID and it should be the one Amazon.com so it's the one that ends in DER and we're copying that in marketplace ID there we go and then we need the MWS auth token so we're copying that as well into here uh, and that's that part done. Now what we also need to do is to create a new a completely separate email. This is not your usual login for Amazon Seller Central. Uh, it's a new email and a password for that email and what this is is we'll create a user within your Amazon Seller Central account and this is to help Cash Cow Pro get additional data for uh, the features in, in, in the software and we will restrict the access that user has and we'll go through that process now. So we've got the marketplace ID, the seller ID in there, the MWS auth token in and now what we need to do is create a new user. So what I've gone and done is created a whole brand new uh, Gmail account. I recommend you do the same. Let's close this up okay and then what we're doing is in Seller Central under user permissions we're going to be adding this new email address so let's go to Seller Central and we're going to settings user permissions and we need to put the new email address here so let's copy that across uh, the email is FBA new email at gmail.com and we're putting that in here so under seller in your seller central account under settings under user permissions we're adding this new email account and this is not your main login this is a completely new separate email account so we're sending the invitation 
hit continue there's the invitation and what we need to do now is just log out of this account and create a user account with this one so we're clicking the link on seller central uh, entering the new email address no we're going to create a password my name is FBA new email my email address and we're creating a password for that and you're going to need to input this email and this password back into Cash Cow Pro so remember this password create account okay and now what we're doing is just logging back into our Seller Central account. Let me just get the details. Okay, so we're logging back into Seller Central. Settings user permissions here's the new email with the pending user we created and all we have to do now is hit confirm so this is in your main seller central account and now we need to now go to add user permissions okay and once on here what we're doing is following the instructions inventory needs to be set manage FBA inventory shipments view edit manage FBA inventory shipments view edit next manage inventory add a product view edit manage inventory add a product view edit and then we're going to go through the balance of these there's only a couple more advertising promotions view edit promotions advertising promotions here we go under advertising view and edit and then the final section reports business reports sales summary and payments reports business report sales summary view edit and payments and that's just to see who uh, when orders are pending or not and then we can add that's it those five settings and then we're hitting continue Great, so now that user, that new email account you set up within your Amazon Central has been given those permissions. And we're just going back here, we're entering that, that email account, the new one you set up, the password that uh, you set up so that, e that email has its own Seller Central access. And that's it. It will show us pending. And then after around 12 to 24 hours, that will be active and all of your data would be will be pulled into Cash Cow Pro automatically. You only need to then go into uh, individual products and set the main keyword. Otherwise, all other data will be done, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So you just need to head into pro uh, products, select the product you're you're looking at, and then under market metrics, you just need to set your primary keyword for that product and all the other data will be automatically pulled. Uh, just market metrics needs you to then add the additional keyword. That's it.